Hi, I'm Andrew. Today I would like to teach you how to find the molar mass of ammonium nitrate. I made a nice little table to help us out. Watch how quick and simple this is. Bam, so the first step of the process is to write the elements that we have. So we have nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen in the compound. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. All right, so nitrogen, if you don't see, by the way, a subscript, just put in a one. So we have one nitrogen here, and we have one nitrogen there. So in total, there's gonna to be two nitrogens everywhere. Okay, reading way too many bedtime stories to my kids. Um, number of atoms then for hydrogen, we have four, and then three for oxygen. All right. Then all we're simply going to do is we're going to multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So mass of hydrogen is going to be 1.01, nitrogen is 14.01, and oxygen is 16. So let's write that on in. So we got 14.01, hydrogen is going to be 1.01, and oxygen is going to be 16. Then we're going to find the total mass of each element by multiplying this row on a cross. So the total mass of nitrogen there is going to be 28.02. Total mass of hydrogen is then going to be 4.04. .04, and the total mass of oxygen then is going to be 48. I don't even know what, what number is that. There we go, 48. Well, that doesn't even look any better, the 8. But you know what I'm saying. And to find the total mass of the compound, we're literally just going to add this column on up. All right, so the total mass of this whole thing is going to be 80.06. And that's grams per mole because we're finding the molar mass. So now you know the molar mass of ammonium nitrate. Thanks so much for watching. Consider liking and subscribing if you'd love to help us out. And we'd love to help you out with more stuff as well. Take a look at our channel. See you soon.